everyone. So I had a viewer's question on what style of uh, what style garments you should do for your baby based on how old they are. It comes from a viewer who's not yet a mother, and so she's a little curious about everything. And in my opinion, uh, of course it's your baby, you do you, but in my opinion, my experience with uh, having three so far, um, I think when you have a fresh newborn, I think day gowns are the best things ever. Um, you can have store-bought ones, I've got uh, a collection of them from a dear friend from the brand Kissy Kissy, I believe it's it's called Kissy Kissy. It's a great, great quality. Love the um, super, so super soft and stretchy, beautiful. Um, but of course, you can make your own old-fashioned baby patterns. Have a number of pretty options for newborns, and I like a day gown for that sort of stuff. It's very easy to do diaper changes. It's easy to get them in and out because when they're really fresh, I mean, there's there's no structure to them. You can't like. You know, this is a this is a six month old baby right now. Yeah, you're six months old today. <laughs> hey, but when they're fresh, there's just no structure to them, and um, and they're kind of all still balled up. So the day gown provides a lot of uh, room for them to be balled up since since they were just in utero and they're you know you know what I'm talking about. So once they get out of that newborn stage and they start to become a little bit more of a wiggly baby, um, then I like to think of all things with a crotch, okay? So this can be a number of things from, you know, bloomers with a diaper shirt to bubbles to rumpers to sun suits, depending on, you know, where you live, what time of year it is, you know, weather, all that sort of stuff. Um, I think it's all things with a crotch. And with the diaper shirt, see the diaper shirt is basically a short, a shortened dress, right? Um, that's all a shirt really is, is a shortened dress. So you're, you're trying, at least in my mind, you're trying to eliminate, when they're a wiggly baby, you're trying to eliminate things getting underneath their knees because they're trying to roll over and starting to scoot crawl and then full on crawl and then even starting to stand up. So all of that you want to avoid things getting underneath their knees and um, things getting under, underneath their feet as they start to pull up and stand up. So I like all things with a crotch or you know diaper shirts, one of those things. Um, lots of different options for this and uh, you can really have fun in these years. It's, it's definitely the bubble, like you could just take it and run with it. These are your bubble years. Oh my goodness, are these are ever your bubble years. So, and a romper is what? A bubble with, with pants, you know, or shorts or whatever. So um, that's my take on really from about, you know, three months until about 12 months is usually when your little one has started to oh. walk. Yes, has started to walk. Um, once they have started walking and they kind of have that good and under their feet, uh, you get it? Under their feet because they're walking. <laughs> Anywho, um, I know, it's I know. So once they're in that stage, then I think you can bring back dresses and, um, yeah, really, you can bring back dresses because you're not really so worried about them stepping on anymore. They kind of, once they get good on walking, at least in my experience, they don't really go back to crawling too much. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, you see what you want to do with your little one. Of course, when I'm talking about what to do, when I'm saying all of this, what I'm saying is for the everyday, you know, day-to-day -day, uh, cycle of their wardrobe. By all means, um, and I and I do it too. If you want to put them in a dress, like at six months old, while they're still wiggly baby, put them in a dress and just take some photos, or you know, go to a fancy function or whatever. Um, that's that's something that I do as well. But I'm talking like the everyday. There was the the clothes in the cycle. You know what I mean? Um, so. Is there anything else I wanted to say? One more thing that I did want to say is that any dresses you may make um, around that six month to a year sort of um, time frame, keep in mind that depending on how your little one grows, you can put these back on as little, you know, shirts when they're around 18 months, two years. I did this with a number of shirts with Audrey that I made, you know, dresses for her way back when she was around six months give or take and then when she was 18 months two years whatever I put them back in her as little shirts and they're just darling so it, it gives another um another use for that something to keep in mind so anyway I have lots of other videos so check them out and if you have any questions put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them and as always I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time yeah